So we pulled the pan and uh, water is coming down a liner. But the liners look to be in great shape. So I don't know if it's a failed O-ring or if it is, if it's, you know, that cross of stuff. The antifreeze, when we tested it, wasn't too, too acidic, but you know, who knows. Um, could still be a blown head gasket, and then it, that liner moved up and down slightly, which would wipe out the O-rings. But what was more fascinating is the oil pan was full of uh, metal flakes. Big ones. Some of them, you know, size of my pinky nail. Rolled smooth. Um, I was sure it was coming out of that, that same hole. But uh, I'll be danged. The bearing comes out of that. It looks fine. Um, none of the other ones show any sign of, of anything. I'm, I'm not sure. It's not magnetic. And it doesn't have copper attached to it. It's brittle rather than soft, which leads me to believe it's aluminum, not Babbitt, though I'm not entirely sure. I don't know. Maybe it's, uh, could be an air compressor, I suppose. Maybe an air compressor bearing going. It doesn't look like it's coming out of the piston skirts. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what to tell you. I'm not sure what's going on in there. Uh, but it isn't, it isn't a slap a head gasket and go kind of deal, so... That other truck better hold together, because we're going to be stuck with it. It could be cam bearings, I guess. That, that could be. could be a cam bearing. Hmm. I don't, it, doesn't, it doesn't look like rods and mains. It really doesn't. So I'm not sure where else it could get aluminum that it could roll out. You know, hammer out. So, I don't know. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. It's a bummer. Like I said, the other truck better hold together until I can figure out what to do with this one. Maybe go buy a used motor from some of those ones that are cutting up in Texas. Of course, it means driving the Texas.